Great day, aspiring journalists. Welcome to Campus Journalism. You are now in the category of sports writing, where we will learn about the types, examples, and tips. I am John Marie Jess Alracho from BE32, and you can call me Teacher Gio. Ready your pens, gadgets, or any notation devices for you to have some active learning. What is sports writing? It is a category under journalism that is creative nonfiction focusing on sports, athletes, or other sports-related topics that is known as sports writing. A sports writer is a journalist who covers sports. And under this are preparation and anticipation, watching the actual game, replay or highlights or after game, or the team, players, coach, and fun facts. And also in writing sports writing. Make sure that you provide an experience that takes you from one place you've never been before and by the end, leaves you in another place, change. This is a line from Glenn Stout, an editor of the best American sports writing in 2015. Moving on to the elements of sports writing. These are what you should see in your sports article. First, highlights of the game. Was there a team player? What was the exciting moment that happened in the game? Second, the names of the teams involved. Third, the type of sports. Was it volleyball, basketball, tennis, badminton, or anything that you can think of? Fourth, what was the score or final outcome? Was it a do or die game? Is it for semis or grand finals? And lastly, when and where the game was played. It can be the date, the tournament, or the venue. These are the elements of sports writing, but keep in mind to concentrate on what an athlete does in order to produce a decent sports article. Because the drama of competition permeates sports, highlighting one individual provides your story a relatable human element. Let's now deal with the types of sports stories. First, straight lead game story. Straight lead can also be spelled as straight lead with L-E-D-E, -E, as you can see. It uses a straight news structure, which is the inverted pyramid. It is considered as the most fundamental type of sports writing. And this article provides an overview of a game, like overall impact or results of a specific covered game. It also includes who won or lost, the score, and key player actions. It is different from news because it has more actions, verbs, and jargons that you can only see with sports writing. For an additional information, please take note. What you can see at the bottom is an example of a headline for a sports article. Make sure that it should always follow the SVO format. S as the subject, V, verb, and O as the object. And always, the verb is in present tense and is in active form. For the example, Lady Spikers demolishes Golden Tigresses and then include the score 3-0. Let me give you an example of straight lead. Read with me. National University moved on to the finals of Shakey's Super League Collegiate Preseason Championship after blasting University of Santo Tomas. 25-23, 23-25, 25-21, 25-17 at the Rizal Memorial Coliseum on Friday, November 11. Take note that the story then described key plays that can be seen in the bridge, players who made a significant impact on the outcome that can be part of the body as supporting details, and post-game observations quoting both players and coaches. Note that the quotation can be direct or indirect. The second type, feature game story. These are the following information that you should know about it. First. It provides viewers and readers with a distinct perspective. These are the probable details that were not observed from the highlights they have seen on television. Second, this is considered as the preferred tool for professional sports writers. And third, it gives a different perspective of the game and the people involved. Feature game story is not a typical story that tells you what you saw, but gives you details beyond a straight news. Here is an example of an actual sports feature lead involving the Queensland Reds and their rugby coach, Tevita Coloy. Let's read together. 
It's the start of yet another season. The quiet of the night contrasts with the vibrant group gathered in the upper room of their local church, fervently praying. As the clock ticks closer towards midnight, the spiritual coach of the state's professional rugby team receives an impression from God. The last place team he is mentoring will win the entire league this very year. It is a bold revelation, and he grapples with what to do with this. As you can notice, the background and events surrounding the time of the writer's extraordinary encounter are then described. Near the end of the article, it gets to the scores. Since readers of this type are not looking for the score, but rather a different view that can be seen before, during, or after a game. Reaching to the third type of sports stories, the profile story. First, it focuses on a certain character as opposed to a feature game story, which highlights a particular game. Second, the person in the profile can be a player or a coach that has remarkable experience. It can be a young athlete making their way up the ranks or a powerful coach. To show you the difference between a feature game story and a profile, here is an example of a real-life personality profile opening of the same rugby coach, Devita Kuloy. Let's look through it together. He stood on the bridge pondering how everything in his life had gone wrong. After several years of depression, disappointment, abuse, and separation, he had reached the end of his rope and was ready to end it all. He closed his eyes, readying himself to take this irreversible step. At that very moment, he heard a seemingly innocuous noise from below. Beep, 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 beep. He opened his eyes and reached into his pocket for his phone, intending to read this message before he went forward with his tragic plan. The words he read, sent from an acquaintance he was not even particularly close to, shocked him out of his stupor. Jesus loves you. He will never leave you. Receive his love. Reaching to the fourth type of sports stories, the season preview and wrap-up stories. It is published while the coaches and their teams are preparing for the upcoming season or after the season has ended. This is whether in victory or in defeat. It takes a bird's eye view of the season, share the expectations that coaches and players have. This can be how they feel at the start, duration, or end of a specific season. Let's cast an eye with the example of season preview and wrap-up stories. Coach Sandy Miller has high hopes for the Bannerview High School women's volleyball team this year. With the Royals being the county champions last year, led by dynamic team captain Serena Delgado, who continues to lead the team this year as a senior. We believe she'll bring the team to greater heights this year, Coach Miller says. Note, that this type of sports story focuses in the general experience of a season and sums up the events. Not like any other stories, this type doesn't focus on the details of a game or the happenings. Remember, every sports writer needs a season previews and wrap-up stories in their collection. We have now made it to the last but not the least type of sports stories, the fifth one. Column stories. What is it composed of? A sports writer expresses opinions in a sports writing column. What do they feel? What has gone wrong? What could have been done? These are the questions that can be asked in a column story. It occasionally contains rants in a group, individual, or a coach who doesn't live up to expectations. And lastly, it is sometimes written about a team, player, or coach they admire. It can be anyone as long as it's related to the game. Here is an excerpt of a column from the sports column. For me, head-to-head -head competition is the most significant indicator for seeding, but not to EIWA coaches. 
When coaches use rules or regulations to protect their interests, then athletes suffer. To make a three-time All-American a proven wrestler a four seed behind an opponent he has defeated, well, that's bad for everybody. And to make things worse, the only other seeded wrestler who has qualified for the Nationals, which was Jared Prince of Navy, is seated number five, opposite Kolodzik. None of the other six seeds have had such success this year. Notice how the author used the subject and the expert as a coach who is able to direct a weak team to an unexpected championship, or perhaps an underdog player who demonstrates unusual determination and teamwork. Hey, congratulations! You have finished the presentation in the Campus Journalism Sports Writing category. Did you learn anything? If yes, then I'm glad to be your teacher for today. Comment or raise your concerns or questions. I'd love to answer them all. Before closing the video, let me leave you with a quote. Know that you can win or lose in anyone's story. But remember that you are your own champion and you can start to write your own victory. Once again, this is Gio Racho, your reporter for the sports writing category. Keep on learning and you always stay safe.